gonna stay on course with the uh, single leg X and we're gonna be moving on into entries now. Um, I'm gonna do my two favorite entries and then Spencer is gonna go over some of his favorite entries, um, which, is which is nice because the entries that he does, I typically don't do and then also sometimes vice versa. So you get to have um, two different perspectives on the entries, which is very nice. Uh, the more kind of the merrier, you know? So let's just start with uh, you and combat base. Okay, so a lot of times we'll be here and to, let's go back a little bit so it can be more in frame. We're gonna be here in uh, this position where the person on top is using the combat base, which is kind of uh, what people do all the time. So from here, I can actually start to sit up and start to play sit up guard. Now from here, I wanna get my shin to his shin. Okay, that's a very important concept in general anyways, whether you're gonna do, do the single leg X or not is that I don't want the person to be stepping on the inside of my legs here because of the knee cut through uh, threat mm -hmm. is just too great here. So a lot of times you'll be sitting and let's just say he does step in the center. I want to make sure that I stay shin to shin because here the, the knee cut through is much more awkward and you can actually use this counter much more effectively. So again, shin to shin, very important concept when you're playing uh, sit up guard here. Now from here, my other hand is going to grab the collar. This helps me pull him and push him. So in this case, I'm going to need to pull him. My other hand is going to grip right behind his calf here. Now my leg is going to be in the middle. This leg is going to pull myself in. So I'm going to actually use both my feet to pull myself in close. Now from here, I pull him on top of me. And you'll see how his knee is into my chest here. But also, I'm using my knee into his chest. So we're kind of just trading off where his knee is in my chest and my knee is in his. I want my knee into his chest just for space. Okay, I don't want to be here and have him crush me. So I'm going to be here. So when he tries to crush me, I just, it's nothing. Now from here, I'm going to elevate his leg up and use his ankle like a slide. So I'm going to slide down my shin. I'm going to go here, then I'm going to pull. And now we're in single leg X. Uh, if he stays on his knees, it's really dangerous for him. So a lot of times when I'm here, he'll just kind of pop up into this position here. Say one more time. Start standing actually. So we're here and the person steps. So see how I immediately pummel inside here. See, I got my grip, I got my collar grip. I'm hugging deep. Scoot in, elevate, stick a lot of gaps here. Okay? A lot of times the person will stand up. If they don't, we can start grinding them with other techniques. Okay, so that is the shin on shin entry. Uh, the next, this next one is also one of my favorites. It's the spider gun entry. So we're going to be here in spider gun. This one's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, I'm going to have one leg stretched and one leg bent. Now a lot of times when I'm playing the spider guard, it doesn't really control a lot when they put their hips forward. Put your hips forward for me. This is actually really dangerous for me, and I, I feel like I'm just getting run over by a train. Okay. So from here, I'm going to step on the ground in between his legs. Now he could actually be a little bit farther back away, and I can even do this. So I step, I pull both of my grips, and I use my leg to kick him up. And it'll walk right over my leg. So I can keep this one here, or I can look here. For just single leg X sake, I'm gonna bring it here. From here, and I feel like the person's gonna throw their hips in, I can immediately counter and go to single leg X from here. Okay, I can let go. I can grab both pants, kind of up to you. This is super annoying. How do you feel the power on that one? Strong, huh? Very strong. So those are my two entries. And we're gonna do yours, huh? Yeah, let's go. So uh, the two entries that I, uh, I'm gonna show are actually from an escape out of mount, okay? Now, one of them's gonna be pretty simple, pretty basic. This is one of the mount escapes that I that I show. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lift him off of me, okay? Now, I'm not over my chest, so this isn't gonna be a bench press. I'm over my hips, so I'm gonna be very weak. Plus, I'm, I'm, I'm not that strong to begin with, okay? So my arms are not gonna be able to lift up his hips. It's gonna to have to be with my bridge. So my two feet plant really close to my butt. I raise my hips up as high as I can. Now I can walk out, okay? 
And when I lock out, I do want to bring him over my chest so I'm just a little bit stronger. Now, I have a very limited time here. This is a small window, but I don't need to do a lot. All I have to do is pull up one knee, keeping it tucked tight to my chest. And look at how I'm going to kind of come off to the side and this leg is going to pop right in. Okay, very basic, very easy, or it's very simple. I mean, two hands, bridge, lock out, and now we're here. Okay, the other one's going to be a little stranger. It's going to be a little squirrelier. Okay, go ahead and mount. Now, I usually get this when I'm trying to do my uh, elbow escapes, okay? As I'm hooking this and making a lot of space, a lot of times what I notice is, is I'm not gonna be able to get my bottom leg out, but I'm able to get my top leg out. So I swing this, I'm swinging this leg up. I use my arms as a forklift and it's just a little guide right here, okay? I pull up my knee all the way to the point to where my ankle hooks on the back of the knee. Now, all I'm gonna do is uh, like a thigh master, I just opening up my legs. I'm pushing off of my bottom leg and I turn, 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 driving my knee into his chest. I'm pushing him away. I have him over onto this side. Very easy for me to go. And just like Sean said earlier, if he stays down, it's bad for him. He's always gonna stand right back up, okay? I like that thigh master analogy. <laughs> it works. So yeah, when you go to the gym, you can do, the, you can do that workout uh, shamelessly now because now you know that it works for jujitsu. So we're here. I'm onto my side. I'm working on getting the bottom one out, but I feel like I have enough power. I have enough room to get the top leg out. Once I get this between us, I just open up. I start to turn and face him while I keep him hooked. And now I have my single leg. Excellent. Yeah, those are pretty cool back in the gym, huh? Yeah. Can't even go to the gym right <laughs> now. Really cool. Yeah, so when you guys are able to do, go to the gym, do your good girl, bad girls. Shamelessly now. It's for your jujitsu.